It's another Jubal phone prank. Weekday mornings on the 20s. Hello? Hi, my name is Pastor Tom Dinkins, and I was looking for Sandy. This is her. Sandy, hi, how are you? Once again, my name is Pastor Tom Dinkins. I will be officiating your wedding coming up in a few days. I know Pastor is doing it, but unfortunately he had a family event, and so I'm the one that's feeling in for him, and I thought I should call you and talk to you for a second. Yeah, that's great. Thank you so much for helping us out. Yes, I hope you're having a blessed day, and it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. (laughs) I am very, very excited for you to be my first nuptials. First? Yes, my first, and I know it won't be the last, so I'm very excited for you to pop my cherry. Oh, (laughs) Uh, yeah, that's that's an interesting reference. Pastor, but uh, mm-hmm. Well, the reason I'm calling is your wedding's in just a few days, and I wanted to see if you needed any help. Are you going to be delivering your own vows, or did you need help with those vows? Uh, yeah, we've both written our own. That sounds beautiful. Thanks. Yeah, it, I hope it will be. Full of, huh? Um, <laughs> are you okay? Yeah, yes, I'm so sorry about that. I'm fine. <laughs> just, uh, you know, just a... Uh, Just thinking about uh, your wedding and your vows and you and your fiancé, Sean, being so full of love and being so excited about the future makes me think about the fact that that left me. Excuse me? I'm so sorry about that. I apologize to you and to the man upstairs for using that language. Uh, Yes, anyway, back to you and your vows. Um, How long do you expect them being? Um, this- <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, are, are you okay? Uh, uh, yes, I am. I'm so sorry about this. Um, my wife left me, and so now I'm thinking about the big day, your big day, and the beautiful ceremony, and the, all the love in the air, and all the excitement around your nuptials, and I'm just thinking about how she left me. Oh, my God. Um, okay, it's okay. Um, uh, I'm really sorry that happened to you, but um, do you think you're going to be okay to do this? It seems like maybe you need more time or something. Uh, oh, I do don't. Do you like, maybe have someone else who could. More time for. Sub I'm sorry, I guess I'm misunderstanding. More time for what? More to, like, I wish I had a few more minutes. Yeah, just a little more time. But it. I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, um, should you be doing a wedding? Like, maybe you're not really ready to, like, maybe you should focus on, like, funerals and stuff for now. Oh, no, I'm perfectly, uh, do I sound like I'm not okay? I'm just a little worried you're going to cry at the wedding, but, like, in a sad way. Like, I'll probably cry, but, like, in a happy way. (laughs) But I don't really Uh, think I want you to cry. Yeah, I know those happy tears. I know the happy tears you're talking about. I had them at my wedding. Ten years ago, <sighs> but I cannot, well, um, and I cannot wait to officiate your wedding. I'm so sorry about this. It's kind of a big deal. So I, I really cannot like wait it to, to tell them well. all about my ex-wife and her. Oh, going outside of the relationship. I cannot wait for them oh, to hear. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, Pastor, I really don't think that's appropriate that's, for my wedding. Like that's something that I think you need to do on your own. Congregation's going to know every sort of detail. Yeah. No, this isn't going to work. You cannot use my wedding as a place for you to talk about your ex-wife cheating on you. You cannot do our wedding. Well, then you cannot You're going to ruin and, everything. Well, you can't get married in this church if I can't do your wedding. And also, I don't think you should be wearing a white dress, actually. I think I've heard some things. Excuse me? What the hell? Sorry, but what the hell? No, the wedding is in a few days. We're getting married at that church. This is insane. Our old pastor was wonderful, and I don't know how he would have ever picked you. He's the one that ran off with my wife. What? Okay. No. You know what? I'm not getting married at that church. I don't care. It's in a few days. I'll figure something out. This is insane. It's not. Oh, my God. Then I'll just let you know that this is actually a phone prank. This is Jubal from the Jubal Show doing a phone prank on you, and your fiance Sean, set you up. It's a joke. He actually worked it out with the other pastor to tell you that he had to cancel so he could do a prank on you before the wedding. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, I was freaking out. Oh, my God. So enjoy your wedding now. I'm sure it'll go great compared to what we could have I'm going to kill him. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> Wake up every morning with Jubal phone pranks.